Put it down. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to check something here. I'm pretty sure I stayed at seven plus seven yards. And just put the ball guide out towards the hole. To, uh, let's see, four, nine. Let's see if it'll show the seven yards. It's not showing the... Let's see. Yeah, because this is where I was short. So even though it's showing one, it's actually a seven. So what I do, I, let, I put it back at seven, and then I push the backspin up a little bit to put it towards the hole. Right? Yeah. So I stayed at seven yards. Okay. So that's how I got the Alby. We're using seven yards as our marker. So it's plus 10%. At seven yards. So, which I find that interesting. This is an interesting kind of concept I've been playing with and uh, staying at the. <clears throat> same yardage marker, even though your drive is further or back or whatever, you still use the plus uh, seven or whatever the yardage is. You still go to that number. And then just adjust the spin to the hole. So it still, in theory, would be the same adjustment and percentage for your landing spot of wherever that is, right? So i kind of been playing with that. And it's, I mean, it seemed like it worked right there. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go for the seven-yard marker, wherever that may be, <clears throat> uh, and do the plus 10% and then do the ball guy to the hole. See what uh, see what we do. See what I'm wearing on though. Guest. But uh, I definitely am feeling a little better now just because I'm actually being able to play, you know. I mean, I know see, and that's the thing about it, that this game is fun to play when it when it operates and works correctly. And it's very frustrating when it doesn't. So and I think that's why the game is so popular. It's, it's challenging and um but the interface has to be appropriate to be able to do what you need to do. You can't have it so precise and then have the interface and these different things just have a variable. There has to be a continuity in, uh, in repetition of the gameplay. You know, force greats is one of them. Can't have both. But uh, so, you know. All right, so even though you have an extra mile eight, oh, what am I doing? Even though you have an extra mile eight, go with that same setup here, okay? Because you want to be at the same distance. Got it? Same distance. So which is three, three. Oh. I completely lifted early on that. So this is here's what's going to happen. It's going to push me further away from the hole. I'm going to be more to the right. So I'm back a little further. So when I go to 7%, God, it still drove it a little further. That's kind of weird. Um, so what we're going to do, our marker is going to be at the 7-yard line. So we're going to put it at the 7-yard plus 7, <clears throat> make our adjustment to the hole. And um, see if that works. I mean, I, this would be a prime example if it, if it would work. If, if this theory or this uh, method of play could potentially be useful in uh, Great shot. many shots, you know. Because in theory, the same distance would be that all the time. You're at seven yards, you're at seven yards. You're at seven yards driving or whatever, it's still seven yards. And if it's plus 10% at seven yards, then the theory... Let's see. So there I'm at seven yards. So now we're going to put it towards the hole. Leaning to the left just a little bit. So seven two. Okay. 
God, wouldn't this be amazing if it worked? Perfect shot. Get a hole! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Just a little hot. Hey. Hey, though. That theory? Oh, dude. Dude. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm, damn the damn the finding the spot on the green. Or or get to the get to the yardage marker. That's that's the, I like that. We're right there at it, baby. Right there at it. So even even when we hit the great right. So dude. That's gonna be some great intel for my next plays with Iceberg and Ice Kid tonight. That's gonna be good. We're going to be using that shit. Player, player, player. So, but dang, that would have been cool if it would have landed. So I was just a little too uh, a little too tight on the hole. A little too tight on the hole. Came in a little hot. Came in a little hot. Let's see how... Um, let's just see that replay again. Because I'm just... Uh, I mean, I did offset it leaning left of the hole just a little bit, like leaning in the hole left. So, but let's just kind of watch that again. Um, but I definitely, I definitely like that. I'm going to start, uh, so we found the seven yard mark right there. Found the seven, lined it up with the hole. And right here is where I, I was just too hot. The tip of the ball guy needs to be before the hole. And that makes sense because the wind is going with a little bit. So that makes sense. Makes sense. So if I just pull that back a little bit, that's dropping. That is dropping. That's exciting to, that's exciting to see here because I think I just may up my game here a little bit. With this. Look at that. That was a leaning left perfect right there. Left side of the bullseye. Oh, God. Hit the, hit the pan, baby. Hit the pan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We may uh, we may be on to something with that. Okay, here we go with whole... Hmm. This is where... Uh... This is where it didn't work out last time. I think it gave us a... I can't remember. We didn't make it, did we? We didn't make it. Yeah, no, we missed it. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that... The, yeah, I hit the... Uh, it was leaning great right, which was a true great. It wasn't a forced great. It wasn't in the yellow. It was to the edge, so... <clears throat> it wasn't the double standard great shot. You know what I mean? Double standard meaning, oh, it's perfect in one and great in another. It wasn't the double standard great. It was a normal, what should be a great. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. That's the way the game is supposed to be. Now, even though I've shown you all leaning perfect over power shots, I still feel that those should be perfect. Uh, and I like that game part of that gameplay, so that it needs to be fixed on the non overpower shots in the bullseye. Uh, if you want to know my opinion on that, uh, the over leaning overpowered leaning uh, perfect shots, I'm good with that. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to dispute that that it shouldn't be that way. I like those. It should be that way because the bullseye shaking, you're doing all that stuff. I mean, it's very very difficult to do the overpower shots. So. Um, and that's why, that's what makes it a, such an emphasis on normal power bullseyes, where it is perfect on one and great on another. Uh, that's the whole point of that, is that it's not overpowered. It just needs to be consistent. Just like in baseball, nothing like a... Nothing worse than a more inconsistent umpire.
Brings everybody down. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> Good try, baby. Okay, so we didn't get one. We didn't get two. Please get number three. Six, five. We got a bigger wind here. Bigger wind. Push it forward a little bit. Get a hole! You motherfucker. You mother. <laughs> oh, you sorry sack of. <sighs> Just trying to be a little biatch today, aren't we? Trying to be a little biatch. Whatever. Whatever. Got poked on three twice. Well, one was my fault, but that one should have went in. That one should have went in. <sighs> okay, so... On the whole... Four. What's going on with the interface right now? Stopping. Figure looks like something's happening right now. Let's do this right quick. Let's do this right quick. Player. Player, player. We've already been through enough today. So we know that um we know that 370 I think it's 370 see 373 or 393 I can't remember uh but it's a 3 We're going to see this yard is right quick and I'll know This is the one where I did uh 60 66% but I didn't see the drive. Um, let me get that yardage down again. Because this one was shorter than normal. So let's see the drive. Let's see the drive. Because basically it's 2% uh, for every yard. That's how I came up with the percentage. To get to that number, and um, <clears throat> I hit a great left here. That's what happened. Great shot. I couldn't tell if it was a fourth grade or not, but it was a great left. Okay, so it was sure didn't get down to the part down now. Three eight yes, three ninety three is the distance, so uh if we happen to be short, three eighty six is sixty six percent. So we can kinda those are our two numbers. Plus mid ten percent at three ninety three. Got it? That's our ballpark. That's our ballpark. So if it goes past 393, we can go down in percentage from 50%. We were short, so we had to go up. So. So 2% for every yard. So we just pretty much get the yard. Times that by two. And that should be able to give us our percentage. Wherever we end up, if we need to, if we have a weird number. <sighs> OK. 
God, I tell you what, Lou. Being hamstrung on one, that really that hurt, man. Yeah, I wonder if anybody thinks Playdemic will give me a birdie on that one. Or let me play it over again. What do you think? I mean, I'm losing two strokes there. I mean, let's just be real about it. Two strokes. We know every, We know where I'm hitting that damn shot. I just did it on the back nine. That's two strokes. Oh, my Lord. I had, I should have had a 16 on the front nine. Should have had a 16 on the front nine. Ooh, yo. How about this no opponent stuff right now? Golly, man. This is irritating. So whatever club you're using, stay with that same spin. Got it? Even if it's an extra mile eight, stay with that same amount of spin. And that way, you'll finish in the same spot. Perfect shot. There we go. See if we can get a 393. Just be mid plus 10%. <clears throat> Pretty close. <clears throat> Pretty close. So, so basically, we do, uh, we do, it's two yards, right? So we do 50, 1, 2 is 1, and then 54%. So 54% plus 10%. That's our adjustment. We were two shards back from 393, so we got to increase 4% on the slider. So it's one yard for every 2%. So. And uh, one and a half backspin approximately. Kind of wants to come in there a little hot, so be careful of that. Get a hole. Boom. Got it. All right. All right, all right. <sighs> okay. That makes up for a little bit there, a little bit for this stuff. It's before I was uh, trying to hit four from the right side, which I have hit it. But uh, I'm just kind of annoyed with the drive. But if you control the top spin, that can help you not going into the rough down there uh, when you hit a great left. So. Controlling that top spin. Okay, so what did we do last time on hole five? We did 10% minus two and we were left of the hole. I 
I did push it up though. That was the only other thing. So let's revisit this. Half a bar backspin. I mean, I'm sorry. Half a bar right spin. That's crucial as far as making it very stable in your adjustments. So let's see how far up I pushed it. Because I did, was it 4.9? Which is 3.9. And I think I did 3.7. I took two off, right? So I'm just to the left of the line. I did 3... Well, I'm at 3.5 right there. Did I not move it up far enough? Perfect shot. Maybe I didn't move it to 7. I moved it to 5. Let's watch that again. So, yeah, 10%. 4.9. It's 3.9, so what do we say? Take 0.2 off, which is 3.7, but I think I was actually at 3.5 for some reason. Let's see here. I kind of move it up a little bit there, but it's still... Looks short. Perfect shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the point two, but I'm going to move it a little closer to the to the line now. See if we can stay with that same adjustment. Hmm. I mean earlier. I mean, I was using just plus 10% and it was going in. So for it to change a little bit is a little... Messed up! Because I already found it. Already found it. Hmm. In fact, let me see something. Yeah, you see it right there? Five. I hit it twice. That's why it being a little off is throwing me off a little bit. <sighs> the game would just act right. <laughs> right? Just act right, boy. Okay. Um... Take point two off, move it a little closer to the line. I say three seven. It should have been no, no, that's right, three seven. Uh, we'll take five two, four one. So we're gonna be at three nine. Get a hoe! And that's more left. What the fuck? What's up with that, man? What's up with that? That ended up more left, even though I set up more to the right. <laughs> From point... Don't make any damn sense, man. I swear. Don't make any damn sense. Any damn sense. <laughs> I 
a 3.9 and a 4.1 on the max, and I take two off each one. But that was a little that was further left. I mean, is it just going to be that much on wind effect? I mean, no, nah, just that's. I wonder. I wonder if I'm just going too high above the corner there. Nice too high above the corner. So we're going to bring that down next time. That's going to be the next play. Maybe I'm just too high. Okay, so last time we we offset the hole just a little too much on the second shot here. Seven eight, which was nine nine. White ring on the thing there. I'm at plus one yard. So we're gonna remember that. Remember the remember the plus yardage marker we were talking about? At plus one. So plus one at twenty five percent. was uh, just a hair to the left of the hole, right? Perfect shot. Leaning perfect right there. And probably just a little too hot. I want to slow that down just a little bit. Um, so let's look at that one more time. Let's see where, if that was true on the roll on the setup. Ooh, it looks pretty true, don't it? It looks pretty true. At plus one. All right, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's dial this in, baby. Let's dial it in. Dial it in. Come on. Make something of this round. Because this has been a headache from hell to even play. <sighs> but So the good thing about this, as I'm recording it, uh, you're going to have full screen after it uploads. You will have the full screen to watch watch everything. I know it always flips it to the side when you're on your phone and different things like that. Uh, computers are still big, but being the full screen on your tablet or your phone and things like that. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice because it fits the screen. So that's the one benefit you're going to get from me recording this versus it being live. And uh, after it processes, it will be uh, pretty good. Three, five. We did a little smidge, but we're down on wind a little bit. So we're going to go three and a half. A little bit more sideways wind, too.
I don't know. I don't know. Too much great. Yep. Good God. Well, that sucks. Adjusting for the wind pushed me out to the right, and then when I hit a great right, it just puts me in no man's land. At least we won't lose a stroke in the hole when we can get to the hole. So, but that's unfortunate. We're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna use, use another account to try and dial that in uh, later tonight or something. But perfect shot. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Is that even possible? A little ballsy. Getting a little ballsy. Whoa, way too much curl. <laughs> oh, Lord God, please don't let me miss this stupid shit. Ah, I know. Going for the Hail Mary, see if I can make something work. <clears throat> Glad I didn't go in the trap. <laughs> All right, so if we could pull seven, eight, nine out, who knows? I'm not getting the breaks on the back nine except for that one hole on four. So um, if we get seven, that'll put us at a... 28 pace I think is that right so 24 if I were to get 7 be 25 26 and then 27 28 what no is that right oh because I got one that's right that's right so if we get 7 that's a 26 we'll just say all right we don't get 8 that's 27. And then get two with on nine. So that would be a 29. So this, you know, obviously we hope to get eight, but well, I'll tell you that whole one, boy, that's a, uh, it's a nice oil right now. And hey, let's just see. Let's check, see if Play Demix even responded. Negative, Ghost Rider. Negative. It's, Almost three o'clock. It was sent. The, the ticket was sent in at nine, something in the morning, right? Nine something in the morning. We could probably look up the uh, video and see the timestamp because they're on the clock. I mean, last tournament day. You know, if you're having an issue. Um, be nice that uh, they could actually get some good customer service and be do the right thing do the right thing that's what they need to do do the right thing 
Two strokes, man, on one right now. Two freaking strokes. I have no idea where the leaders are, you know. But just completely, you know, screwing my round up. All because of interface, whatever. Stupidest shit you ever seen. Three, not what? Four, three. Four, three. Get home. Poke me. Poke me. So you remember my great right and went in the hole. I hit perfect and it stayed to the right. <laughs> oh, payback, huh? Pay back to where it should have been, right? I don't know. But that's unfortunate. Yep. Five and seven acting like a bitch right now. So, so now, can we get two on eight? Perfect shot. Two on eight. Should I try the extra mile on that one though now? Hmm. I did it with the topper last time. I just wanted to try it. 30. Just wanted to see what it would do actually. Um. We may go with a Thor's hammer here to see if we can get that second bounce. I'm going to take both the Thor's hammer and the extra mile. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I was hoping that the uh, topper would. Do the extra bounce, but. um. Let's rewatch that vid and kind of where I set up on that just to have an idea about it. So we had Tapa, Power Five. Let's see what we were working with. Seven, three. Hmm. Three O. I just don't know if he can clear the clear the the rough there on the angle that you need with the topper. See where that lands. Yeah, it's God, it looks like it could hit that too, huh? Looks like it could do it. You could hit the you could hit a little curve and it would hit that rough, I mean the uh, fairway, and bounce right down the green, but you'd have the right curl and everything with it. Top spin fifty six. Hmm. 
We'll change that one to the topper. Let's look at this and we'll see if we'll see what kind of win we got. There's a kind of I really would like that two hop to the two hop to the green. The two hopper. And I don't know. This is the big topper four. As far as where it landed, it's in line to hit the top of that hill if I can get it over to the right. That's the only other problem. Hmm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's see what he does here. Oh, he went with a zerk. He's getting uh, six zero. What is six zero? I don't know what that would be. Six zero would give me two point five. So that's less than last time. Hmm. It's not what we wanted to see. Great shot. See this hop right here. That's too far to the right. I don't know. I don't know. It's close. Close. Too close. God, that was a perfect line, though. If I had to win, that would have been the perfect line. No, not for you, Bo. All right. Let's see if I come up with a shot out of my arch. Get ho! Mm. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Played longer. Played longer. So, 
My last hope. Albie on nine. For for twenty nine, maybe. I guess. Let me see. Here. Yeah, Albion nine for twenty-nine. Uh Eagle for twenty-eight. Well, hole one is just looking more and more like an eyesore now, ain't it? Hole one. Interface. Just can't get it together. Can't get it together. So All right, so last time we barely missed this to the left, and we should have did 1 to 1 plus 5%. So we're going to stick with that, plus 5%. At least some of these adjustments will help me on my other accounts that I'm going to play, play here in a little bit, um, as long as I mean, just hope that the interface like works like it seems to have been right here now. I don't, you know. What happened from hole number one and then my whole video and everything and document and all that stuff. From then to now, something's changed. Something's changed. Perfect shot. All right, plus 5% sniper. We should end up right past the shadow. Into the gappy up here. Yep, right there. All right, so plus 5%. I drove it probably a little further than I want, but uh, we're still right there at uh, the uh, mark. So, but what I'm also going to do is just kind of take note of the uh, ball guide here because you don't really have a plus yardage marker like one, two, three, you know, like we learned on seven. I'm sorry, hold two. With the number seven. Uh, just imagine we would hit that again on the back nine. But we're all over that. We're going we're gonna to come back to that one. All right, here we go for 29. Can we do it? Plus 5%, which is 6.5. Put it right here into the funnel. Six five. Get a hole twenty nine. Come on, twenty nine, baby. Got it. Got it. Plus five percent, Max. Word to your mother. Uh, so now hole two. I mean hole one. I'd have a thirty-one man with hole one, a thirty-one. So now let's see what the hell everybody else has done in the bracket. See if this, that's going to come back and haunt us. Because you better believe I'll be. I'm going to do another video on that. If I get robbed, another video is going to come out. I mean, how much? Negative publicity can you stand with that by not doing it right and taking care of people, Perfect right? Shot. And then we'll keep pumping it out. You gotta do right by people, man. Keep, keep doing people wrong. It's karma. It'll come back and haunt you. <sighs> Good luck. Let's see where that puts us. Holy shit!
Holy shit. I wonder who's left to play. I wonder who's left to play. <laughs> Holy shit. Big time. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen back nine, fourteen front nine. Uh, should have been a sixteen front nine. Uh, that was the. Yeah, he was the twenty nine guy. He had me. Yeah, he had me beat with a tiebreaker. He was the one, I think. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the, the guys who had the tiebreaker, the highest score. That's typically what I like to do. It's the first number. We had a 27 on to see who, who shit the bed. Oh, K2. K2 shit the bed. It happens, brother. I, it happens. So, yeah, it happens. And, you know, it very well could have been interface. I, the same shit was happening earlier. 28. We are on the second day, so... This may look pretty good. Potentially. Can he catch me? I got the tiebreaker. He'd have to shoot 30. Got the tiebreaker. He'd have to shoot 30. Got the tiebreaker. He'd have to shoot 30. He'd have to shoot 30. Oh, my God. You telling me ISO is going to pull it out? You telling me ISO's going to pull this shit out? What? Let's see what this last guy is down here. Oh, I got the tiebreaker on him, too. Holy shit. Holy shit.